Greetings, YouTube, family, friends, and survivors. Well, it's the 18th of October. You know, I had a thought about doing an overshot water wheel. But what I'm going to have to do is carry some water away in a pipe. Because there's times when that spillway is running right to the top. And that obviously would destroy the water wheel. But if I took a, a six inch pipe, built a twir, and pulled off the water that I needed for the overshot wheel, then the water could be running at you know maximum flow and not destroy the water wheel. There's enough water there right now probably to get me 15 amps at 24 volts. It's actually more water than it looks like. I think I could build a twir and then peel some water off and take it past these uh, trees here. They're right over there. Dig out a spot, pour some footings for the water wheel and then have what exits out of the water wheel go back into the creek. I've got one project ahead of this one and I need to get some six inch well casing and I want to build the wood fired water heater. I've got everything I need but some six inch pipe. So I really need that more than I need the power coming off of this. But it starts running middle of October and it'll run some years all the way to June. Usually, um, oh, first part of May to mid-May, it pond's still full, but it it's, quits running this much. Be a fun project. It's kind of nice at night listening to the water to keep the window open in my bedroom over the bed and I can hear it. Comforting. Peaceful. Have a blessed day.